Well, we are continuing to deal with a huge spike in COVID cases here in Connecticut, but because of vaccines and the Omicron variant causing that, we still don't know exactly what that means for us going forward. Now, in South Africa, where the Omicron variant was first identified, there was a huge jump in cases, but not a huge jump in deaths or hospitalizations, at least relative to other waves. Is that happening here? A bit of a mixed bag. I mean, certainly we're seeing the jump in cases. Look at this. We had more positive tests last week than we saw in April, May, June, and July combined. Enough to jump the positivity rate to record highs. You see it there in the orange, and it's still going up. But as we've said many times, we really need to look at hospitalizations for a better picture of what Omicron is and is not doing. And so far, it's not great news there either. Look at this. By After jumping by 25%, over the weekend to over 1,450, and now we're well over 1,500. We're at a higher point now than at any point in the Delta wave or even the big wave from last winter. But are all these people hospitalized because of COVID or were a large degree of them hospitalized for other reasons and then they just happened to test positive at the hospital because the hospital tests everybody? I ask this because a recent study from South Africa found that uh, just about two thirds, 63 percent of COVID hospitalizations in one area at one point were not because of COVID. Don't make too, too much of that. It was a small study. It still needs to be peer reviewed, too. But recently, Dr. Anthony Fauci said this could also be the case for some number of pediatric hospitalizations for COVID here in the U.S. And on top of that, going forward, New York State is going to try to separate out who is being hospitalized from COVID as opposed to hospitalized with it. So to what degree is this a factor here in Connecticut? To be honest, it's still very tough to tell. Conflicting information. The American Hospital Association breaks up Connecticut into three regions, Hartford, New Haven, and Bridgeport. All three regions have not shown a big increase in overall hospital bed use for all reasons, including COVID. This is the Hartford area behind me. You can see it's been holding steady for months now at about three quarters of the available beds in use. It's right around the national average, but look at the number of intensive care beds in use in Hartford. It went up modestly in the New Haven and Bridgeport areas, but it jumped dramatically recently in Hartford up to 79%, which indicates, yeah, a lot of people are getting sick with COVID. The real takeaway though, regardless of how these intensive care unit beds are filling up, they're still filling up, which means there's fewer to go around. And a lot of hospitals in Connecticut are now down to two or fewer empty ICU beds. And then yesterday, on top of all that, two Connecticut hospitals are recording a critical staffing shortage. So these trends can't continue for too much longer before we start seeing real, real problems with capacity, regardless of how much COVID is behind all of that.